What is up, my crazy square? This is Joe King Johnson before here bring us more Black Ops 3 multiplayer gameplay. Hopefully, you guys do enjoy this gameplay because I managed to go 39 kills and 5 deaths. Now, the weapon of today that I'm using is not an SMG like I've always been using this past whole week. And, um, well, it is something different from what I used to. So, uh, the weapon that I'm currently using is an assault rifle called the KN44. Now, this weapon I kind of overlooked in the first few days of Call of Duty because um, I wanted to be fast out there. I wanted to take out enemies quicker. I wanted to be close range. And the SMGs kind of provided me more of that because um, I could aim quick, take out the enemies quick, and pretty much sneak around pretty much easily with the SMG. So, that's why I kind of skipped the assault rifles. But I believe the KN, you know, is kind of making a comeback for me. And it's clutch. I think it is a great weapon. The highest damage, I believe... It does have super high damage. I already tested out some few other sword rifles along the way, like ICR and um, the Manowar and yeah. several others. Those assault rifles are kind of okay-ish, but for right now, the KN-44 is accurate, it has high damage, and um, I can take out enemies from long range. Like, it's super strong for me. So, um, the KN... The best class setup will be coming up next Thursday, and um, I believe it will be a very helpful tip for you guys you know, to develop this weapon, and uh, for sure you can be able to keep your distance from the enemies, because if you guys saw the whole gameplay right now, I kept my distance. It wasn't close range, it was mostly from medium range to long range, so um, that's something super different compared from uh, what I do with the SMG which is pretty much keep myself from close range and try to take out the enemies as quick as possible. This one is just, um, you gotta be very patient, you gotta be very stable, if not you're gonna be shooting all over the goddamn place, you're gonna miss the simple shots and you're not gonna make any kind of, uh, you know, skill, skill streaks going on, so, um, it is a great weapon to make yourself survive a little bit longer because you're not in danger most of the time. You're always going to keep uh, your distance from the enemies. So um, that should be you should be able to see that all the whole game. And by the way, I did manage to get all my kill streaks. I got the Wraith. I got the little AGR. Well, the, in Black Ops 2, it used to be called AGR, but now the thing is called something else. I forgot the name of it. But that little robot is pretty much beasting out there. It's killing a lot of people over there and the, behind the enemy line. So um, that's a cool kill streak to have, by the way. Oh, yeah. So, um, and also, I did have the Guardian. That thing is almost hard to take down because I, I believe it does have more health than the, compared to one to the to the one in the Black Ops 2 game. Because in the Black Ops 2 game, you can just shoot at it for a while and it will get destroyed like, within seconds. This one takes like a whole minute sometimes. So, that is a huge difference between the, the Guardian from Black Ops 2 and Black Ops 3. So, um... So yeah, in this gameplay, I thought I was going to go like very, very far into the details of uh, maybe like around 60 kills. But at the end of the gameplay, I managed only to get 45 kills and 15 deaths. I couldn't get higher. It's just that I got to uh, escort the robot. If we didn't escort it, we pretty much going to lose the game. So on the second half, I pretty much just killed my kill streak. Like I didn't want to... I, I would try my best to survive, but you know, I gotta be a teammate, man. I gotta be doing some teamwork out there. I cannot be, it cannot be all about me. I have to help out the team. So, yeah, the second half, I kind of screwed it up. It could have been a higher, um, higher record, but you know, team com comes first sometimes when it comes down to these kinds of gameplays. I could have achieved like around 60 kills to 70 kills, but it didn't happen for me. I could have switched over to the SMG, by the way, which is the VMP, which is a total beast. You guys should really test out that SMG there because I already did a best class setup on it, and um, I'm racking up kills like crazy. I'm I'm getting like around 30 to 40 kills per gameplay, or even 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 higher, like around 50 soon. So try out that weapon pretty soon. So that's it, guys. I don't want to talk about the KN best class setup. We coming up next week. Um, it's a total beast. A good um. For, for range, long distance, and everything. And um, I'll be giving you guys more details on this weapon. I'll give you guys little updates along the way, more gameplays on this weapon, and you'll be able to see how beasty it is and why you should have my best class setup on the KN. So that is it, guys. If you guys want to see more Black Ops team multiplayer, zombies, or story mode, subscribe for more because there's more stuff coming up, especially like emblems and also paint shop. There's going to be more stuff like that. So I'll see you guys later and subscribe for more. Got 38 kills. Damn, I like this gun. Ah. The KN will be weaker. <laughs> I got 35. I mean, 39. Yeah, I got a Actually, the KN is not that bad. I regret not using my gun.
45 and 40. I'm on top of you. Let's go. You gotta come in on it. I couldn't aim right there. I got, I got really good. See, I was up there. I punched that guy up there. They had like two snipers on yeah. the team. That's why they filmed this. Right. Right. Five and fourteen. 